final couple minutes, I watched The Irishman over break. I'm a big fan. I I actually think them playing so much older than they are added to how kind of sad and haunting it was, to be honest. Like, and it, it was yep. it worked so well that it, to me it was they clearly chose it to be intentional. Like, we're not going to be ridiculous. We're not going to try to fake something. This is obviously like events that are, you know, they're being filtered through an old man's memory. Um, anyways, I, and I think it, I think it's very, both in terms of all of like the thuggery around Trump, but also on the flip side, people thinking, Jesus Christ, there was like, powerful labor that delivered for real people <laughs> you know what i mean and, and cracked heads and wasn't totally and you know that line where pacino's like corporate america and the government's at war against us well you know sure it, it had you know there's other overlays with the kennedys and organized crime and all of that but big picture that's true that's the story of the last 40 years i mean that's the story basically a couple years after he disappears what did you think yeah, you know, obviously, like you, I'm a big labor dork. Um, I used <laughs> to be a teamster, actually, back when I used to work at UPS. Yep. So, you know, the movie has special resonance for me. I know a lot of people, well, there's been chat online about the ahistorical nature of the movie. I think if you're looking at this to be a documentary, you kind of don't get the point of the movie. Right. Uh, I loved it. I think it's a movie about just, some people might say it's nihilistic, it's like everything's pointless. I don't think it's about pointlessness. I think it's about just how inevitable life is, right? Yeah. Like, inevitably, these these battles, these wars, like, inevitably, you're going to die. Yep. <laughs> you know, like, and you can't be the Teamster president forever, right? Fat Tony can't be the king of the mob forever, right? Like, inevi and, and, like, when... when when the Frank Sh Sheeran um, character is like, look, Fat Tony got locked up shortly thereafter. Tony Pro got locked up shortly thereafter. Um, you know, Russ got locked up. Like, everybody's locked up. Nobody's enjoying this anymore. Um, all these things that we fought and clawed for tooth and nail were basically a waste of our time. And in the meantime, I'm picking out my own casket. Right. right. Uh, I, I just think that the, the movie is just about, you know, life is basically about prioritizing, man. You got to figure it, figure out what's actually the most important shit uh, relationship with my daughter or, you know, becoming the union head of some some local in New Jersey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, to me, it's like oh, it, it's it's a movie about prioritization of. Um, I just thought it was genius the way they played some of that stuff, right? Where, where um, even even uh, Jimmy Hoffa was obviously somebody who did take time to sort of smell the flowers in life, right? Like they show that with his his his, his ice cream addiction or how he was actually able to have a meaningful relationship with with Sharon's daughter, and like they were like even that guy who's actually doing a lot of the life stuff, right? Um, is sick in the head and can't let this union presidency thing go. Um, I just I just thought it was fascinating, a fascinating just look at getting older and the passage of time and what it means to, like, look back on what you did with your life and, like, ultimately, did you do anything that mattered? Uh, I, I thought it was fantastic, dude. It was deep I, uh, yeah, I got nothing to add to that. I think you're 100% right, which is usually the case. Was We'll be back on Woke Bros very soon. You'll be back on TMBS very soon. Everybody, subscribe to all of the athletic Count the Dings properties. My God, get on Woke Bros. Follow Waz on Twitter. Follow Waz on Instagram. Waz, I appreciate you as always, man. Thank you so much. Oh, man, thank you for having me on. Fun times as always. Matt, man, um, take the red hat off, man. Vote progressive in 2020, Matt. <laughs> I like that. Our old Matt is MAGA bit. I remember Grishka, man. Um, good, good, good talking to you guys as always. Actually, was... real quick, real quick, Waz, you remember when yeah. I had you on the Majority Report the first day I hosted after that asshole won in 2016. And and I remember we were tweeting it out, and you were just like, I'm gonna be on with Michael, da 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 da. Hashtag MAGA. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was clear. that was absolutely a too soon oh, yeah. moment, but you know, <laughs> such is life. Such is life. All right, man. Appreciate you. Take care. All right, later, y'all. Later. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.